Ladies and gentlemen, the American German Bulldog Nation, well, I'm sorry the news is getting out a little late today. I want you to know that I had a doctor's appointment. By the way, all good. It's a routine checkup. But I want you all to know that I am dedicating myself to do an even better job than I have in the past relative to news. Comprehensive, entertaining, so forth and so on. And the delay worked out great today. Why? Because this morning the Supreme Court released an unanimous decision. That means all nine of them ruled that Trump has to be on the ballot in Colorado. Folks, Illinois, all these other states, think about the amount of money that the Trump campaign and Trump had to spend fighting this BS issue in all of these states that he had to fight it in. And what this reveals is they can't blame Trump they can't blame his appointees. They can't say Republicans on the Supreme Court. This is Democrats on the Supreme Court and Republicans on the Supreme Court. All saying, this is wrong what they did to Trump. The superiority as the decider of the final big constitutional issues in this country shall be the United States Supreme Court, not every court, especially when it involves placing a presidential candidate on the ballot of that state. I haven't read the opinion. More on it tomorrow. Trump uh, lost one primary. And guess what it was? Nikki Haley won the D.C. primary. Woo! We now know who the swamp Republican candidate is. Nikki Haley. Trump won Missouri and Idaho. Trump also spoke in North Carolina and Virginia ahead of Super Tuesday tomorrow. Tomorrow morning, we'll run it all down for you. But Super Tuesday, going to be a whole lot of voting going on as pictured by my crack producers. Picture up there. All right. The doctor claims that did the test on uh, or checked out Joe Biden as physical. Now, we've observed this guy, right, for three years. He's healthy, robust, and active. <laughs> you know, one of the problems that the Biden administration and the Democrats and the media and corporate America and social media has is they tell us stuff that we know is not true and they think we're supposed to believe them. It's a joke. Bill Maher, I actually watched this Friday night. It was hysterical. I mean, Bill Maher doesn't like Trump. But man, he's given no quarter to Joe Biden. And he walked out to do a State of the Union address, which he's going to do on Thursday. He walked out with Walker One. <laughs> it was so funny. So funny. By the way, Bill Maher, I'm going to stay on this for a minute, had great advice for the president. He says that you know what Americans hate? Phony people. They said, just be yourself. Own it. That's like me. That's like me. I own my stuff. I'm who I am, what I am. I don't try to put self-righteous phonies always lose credibility. You know what he said, what Joe Biden ought to do? God, it's great advice. He ought to say, he ought to own that he's old and nearly senile. Just own it. Own it. Say, I'm old. But by golly, I'm old. I know a lot. I mean, just own it. Instead of, he says, what happens when you backfires, when you try to do cool stuff, it never works. Like Hillary Clinton in the hot sauce trying to get black votes. Really? Joe Biden riding a bicycle, acting like he's virile. It doesn't work. Just admit you're old. Play it. Ronald Reagan, what did he say? He spun it around, stuck it up on Mondale's calling and broke it off. That's right. All right. California snow getting pummeled. California. Global warming isn't going on everywhere. Meanwhile, Texas fires are devastating the Texas countryside. A lot of crop issues, a lot of livestock issues. All the best to Texas. Jill Biden got heckled and booed in Arizona. Yeehaw! Kamala Harris comes out and says, we must have peace in the Gaza Strip. What a clown she is. I wonder what the last book she read. I mean, have you ever known anybody that had intellectual, just, you could just tell she doesn't have anything between the ears at all? Kamala Harris, it's what happens when you blow your way to the top. Uh, Mississippi shooting, uh, many injured. They haven't, as of the time I last looked, they haven't apprehended anybody, but there was a massive shooting down in Mississippi. Haiti, armed folks uprising 
broke out gangs, broke out 4,000 people from the Haitian jails. How would you like to be in Haiti? Did you report this on World News? Yes, I did. You're a good man, Jamie Spindley. You're better in reporting the news than you are in chess. <laughs> I'm just teasing my mate. I think we're equally matched, except when I focus. He hates when I say that. All right, Trump and Bobart. Trump has endorsed the crazy Bobart. When did Trump endorse me, President? Come on. 38 stores in the union is going to strike against Kroger. GM's recalling 820,000 trucks recalled due to a tailgate issue. Remember that tailgate? They're all carrying their tailgates and they're pulling out the thing. Somebody probably got paralyzed stepping up on that tailgate, Jamie Spindley. This is wild. I didn't know there was a helium shortage. They have uncovered. I didn't know helium was in the ground. I'm sorry. I didn't know that a helium mine. A massive reservoir of helium has been found in Minnesota. They'll start to go talking like this, the Reynolds. All right. Murkowski says she's not going to vote for Biden or Trump. Supreme Court, 14th Amendment rule. We've already covered that because I thought the ruling was going to come out. We've already did it. Just too old. That's what all the voters are saying about Joe Biden. Meal airdrop in Gaza Strip. The Brits... And the Americans drop meals for the Palestinians. 230 million in COVID fraud's been uncovered by the Justice Department. Nikki just says no. She is not going to quit. She is going to keep on going. And she says that she no longer has to be obliged by her pledge to the RNC to support the candidacy of Donald Trump. And this is hysterical. A Chinese company is going to sue Hunter Biden. He pay, they paid him a million bucks, didn't get what they bargained for. They're going to sue him. Oh, baby. Can you imagine what they know? Menendez, looking bad for Senator Menendez. Why? One of the co-defendants has pled guilty and agreed to cooperate. Uh-oh. Ron DeSantis is going to release the grand jury testimony against Epstein. Suarez, the mayor of Miami, has endorsed Donald Trump for president, says he wants to help him win the Hispanic vote. The Atlanta airport, guess what, Jamie? Busiest airport in the world. The Angela Chow, you know, Elaine Chow's sister, she was found dead in an SUV in a pond. Criminal investigation is now open. The January 6th folks got a good court ruling. Going to be more leniency, less sentences. Good for them. <clears throat> American corporations are dodging taxes left and right. While you and I struggle to pay what we pay, they're ducking them. Haley says no on immunity. She doesn't want the president to have immunity. I love the new nickname that President Trump has for Newsom. New scum. I wonder if Kim Guilfoyle had anything to do with that. UAW members, despite their union endorsing Biden, the membership saying, nah, baby, nah, Trump talks our language. Fannie Willis, the judge is going to make a decision in a week or two. Whatever happens is going to be appealed. There will not be any trial in Georgia before November. Garvey, the former L.A. Dodger first baseman, Steve Garvey, is neck to neck with pencil neck ship. Our debt is increasing $1 trillion every 100 days. It is out of control. And if you don't think some stuff's ready to start hitting the fan, New York Community Bank, who just bought a bank, is in trouble. Stock's falling. They got problems. Here we go again. And we ain't got the money to bail out anybody. This is the Bulldog. Every dog has their day. Have a great day. Ladies and gentlemen, the American German Bulldog Nation, welcome to Eric Dieter's local news. As I said on the Eric Dieter Show, I'm going to be even more thorough and do even a better job reporting the local and regional news for you. Bach Fest was this weekend. Did you partake in downtown Cincinnati, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday? I did not. Centos is getting $2 million. Centos is a billion-dollar company. The owners are billionaires. They get $2 million Ohio tax credit. Now, they're going to spend $15 million to create 125 jobs at their Mason headquarters. Why do they need $2 million of Ohio taxpayer dollars? It's insane. Corporate welfare. They're frothy soused varlets is what they are. Inquire claims 
that they're investigating medical bills and they want you to contact them relative to investigating their medical bills. Well, guess who's been investigating medical bills and doing this for years now? Yours truly. If the inquiry is serious about investigating the medical bills, they would do a massive story about the massive billing fraud at Sam's with Medical Center and the class action lawsuit that's moving forward. Disingenuous as hell. Unbelievable. They want to focus on insurance companies because insurance companies don't advertise with them. All right, Cincinnati Business Courier. You can't make it up. They did a story, diversity in boardrooms, stale mail and pale no more. Cincinnati Business Courier, our local business newspaper, woke as hell. Largest physician groups, and I left the group, I left the uh, thing here, but they're all owned by hospital organizations. I'm going to give you some more details about this tomorrow. It's unbelievable. Link, one of my competitors, they sent out what they call a super issue to 161,587 households in Boone, Kent, and Campbell County four times a year. They do this. You know what? who sponsors all this? Hospitals, corporations. And you know what they focus on? Labor issues. Labor issues. Food insecurity, you can't make this up. The Enquirer's headline in an op-ed says, food insecurity is a risk factor in gun violence. You believe that? That's how it woke the Enquirer kids. Also, there's another op-ed that said, our kids need to stand up to bullies. Yeah, but so do our school officials. So do parents. So does everybody. Everybody needs to stand up to the bullies. A child being bullied in a school or anywhere is completely unacceptable. Period. Inquire is transfixed. They do this over and over again. They tell us which businesses open, restaurants, and which ones closed. What good does that do? I feel sorry for all these closed restaurants. They get to an house and inquire, they close. But they won't cover the Durrani litigation. WLW. Boy, they're as woke as ever on their news. And they sell their souls so Willie can do interviews with all of you. He will never be critical of anybody. Like the wine or others. So he can get the interview. Plain and simple. Local 12, they had technical difficulties. And their news was down on Sunday night. Huh. Isn't that wild? They fixed it for the 11 o'clock news, they said. Hollywood casino shooting. Authorities from multiple agencies responded to Hollywood Casino Saturday night to a shooting. Dearborn County Sheriff Shane McHenry said police set up a perimeter. Boone County Sheriff's Officer had a drone. They're still looking for the person who did the shooting. Can't make this up. Mike DeWine's not endorsing anybody in the U.S. Senate race or the president's race. Think about this. Trump endorses him in his primary, but DeWine won't endorse Trump. These people are unbelievable. He's another Thomas Massey. I want this to be a clip because I want the world to know about what this little weasel does. All right, Bridge Hero. We now know the name of the bridge, the guy that went and tr saved the, the uh, trucker. The firefighter who repelled down the driver and carried her to safety was identified as 29-year-old Bryce Caden, who specializes in high-angle rescues. Well, he did a good job on that one. That was crazy. You see that? Semi dangling on that bridge down in Louisville. Uh, Akshin Damal was arrested on Monday, February 26, charged with attempting break-in and rape in a Butler County home. The Biden administration is dedicating $74 million to abandoned Kentucky coal mine cleanup. Who will actually get this money is what I want to know. If it goes into the Eastern Kentuckians, I guess it's okay. As long as it doesn't go into a he dog or a boss hog. All right, there was a shooting in Clifton. An 18-year-old male has been transported to the hospital for surgery after being shot in the face on Vine Street. A teenager. Unbelievable. Goes on and on and on. A Claremont County massage parlor is under investigation. Yankee, Yankee. <laughs> Huntington Bank, be on alert. There's scam going on at Huntington Bank. According to Facebook, a resident received a call from 1-800 number, customer service number. Said Huntington blocked a $1,000 wire. The scammer wanted to send the link to the email to change their username and password. Never, never do that. 
Riverview case. A court of appeals panel has ruled in the favor of two individuals who were fighting the location of something that was on their property. London mayor, the big shot London mayor, he's like a billionaire. Uh, Randall Waddell has filed a lawsuit on Laurel Circuit Court against two individuals for defaming him relative to his donations to Bashir. Dr. Hansen, all the charges have been dropped against Dr. Hansen. There was two remaining, and he went. But remember, none of it changes all the hell he's caused relative to the individuals in the civil litigation. The judge in Laurel, not Laurel County, Lewis County, Judge McLeod has said that he will decide March 15th on my disqualification lawsuit against Thomas Massey. I'll share more uh, on that later. Kenton County is promoting Kurt Grievenkamp to treasure. If you've got any grievances, contact Grievenkamp. I did that all on my own, Jamie. Off the cuff. Pretty good, isn't it? Bernie Marino. Boy, he had a big fundraiser in Powell. He had a big fundraiser in Westchester. And then he had a big fundraiser uh, hosted by the Lindner Boys in downtown Cincinnati. My good buddy, Charles Cowboy Melman attended, said there was a lot of people there. And Melissa Powers, she's going after the judges who are letting these juveniles get out of jail for committing adult crimes. You go, Powers. Trump's inquire headline, Trump's support among black vo- losing Trump, Trump's losing support among black voters. Just the opposite is true. Unbelievable. Ladies and gentlemen, the American Jury and Bulldog Nation will be back tomorrow with more news. Hello, you're watching Eric Dieter's World News. I'm Jamie Spinley with the latest headlines. In response to a significant prison break in Port-au-Prince, Haiti's government has announced a 72-hour state of emergency. Armed gangs stormed the facility, resulting in a minimum of 12 casualties and the escape of roughly 3,700 inmates. Authorities in Spain, Italy and Greece had disrupted a criminal network involved in the production and circulation of counterfeit 100 euro notes, totaling over 1 million euros. 14 individuals, including key figures, were apprehended during coordinated raids in Barcelona, Rome and Naples. In other news, northern France witnessed a devastating incident when a small migrant vessel overturned during an attempt crossing of the English Channel. Amongst the 16 passengers, a 7-year-old girl tragically lost her life as the boat sank just a few kilometres off the coast of Dunkirk. And in a unified stand against government proposals to boost medical school admissions, thousands of doctors in South Korea gathered for a mass demonstration organised by the Korean Medical Association. The protests drew up to 40,000 participants, urging officials to reconsider and propose enrollment surge. That's the latest deadlines. Until tomorrow, cheerio. Ladies and gentlemen, America, Jerry and Bulldog Nation, welcome to Sports About Boundaries. The Bengals are ranked 26 out of 32 teams, according to the National Football League Players Association. Between August and November, they interviewed 1,700 NFL players. They interviewed the players. Treatment of families, F-. minus. Food cafeteria, F-. minus. Nutrition dietitian, F-. minus. Locker room, D+. Plus. Training room, B+. Plus. Training staff, B+. Plus. Weight room, B+. Plus. Strength coaches, A-. minus. Team travel, C. Head coach, A. Owner, C+. Plus. What does that tell you? You know what all this means? I like their ho- their coach. Good old the Brown family are a bunch of stingies. Nick Ladella, supposed to be the starting pitcher for the Reds opening day. Ah, they're sending him for more tests. Sports gambling. I want to talk about sports gambling for a second. Isn't it hysterical that these sports gambling uh, shows, commercials, say, oh, be concerned, don't gamble more than what you can afford, blah, blah, blah. They act like they care about addicts. Bull crap. Furthermore, nobody's going to tell me the pervasiveness now of sports gaming that it is going to hurt the integrity of all the games. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? 
It's going to be ridiculous. Sound like Robert De Niro, don't it? Don't it? All right. Vandy's at University of Kentucky tomorrow night, or excuse me, Wednesday night, 9 p.m. UC's at Oklahoma tomorrow night at 8 p.m. Reds are at Oakland today at 3.05. Go Reds. The girls and boys, ninth region. I got this here for you, folks, because it's all begun, right? All right, let's do this. Boys, eighth region. Simon Kenton is going to play Woodford County, 6.30 on Wednesday. North Oldham is going to play Gallatin County. Uh, Tuesday, March 7th, Owen County at Walton Verona, Spencer at South Oldham. Let me see. In the ninth region, uh, tonight, Beachwoods at Lloyd Memorial, Riles at Newport. Wednesday, Dixie Heights at Cove Cath, Highlands at Cooper. Uh, let me see, 10th region. Uh, Wednesday, Bourbon County at Mason, Scott at Harrison County. Thursday, Pendleton County at George Rogers Clark, Bracken County at Campbell County. Uh, there you have it, guys. Let's rock and roll. Go high school sports. Don't have time to do the girls, too. Sorry. United States 3, Columbia 0 in girls competition. What do you think of that? Okay. All right. UC and Xavier are probably going to not make the NCAA tournament. Sad, sad, sad. NFL Combine is concluded. Biggest highlight, this guy right here, Wiggins. Broke the all-time speed record. Ran a 40 and 4.20. He also got hurt in the process. Xavier over the weekend beat Georgetown 98-93. NKU beat Mizzou in baseball 16-15. Los Angeles and Salt Lake soccer have been played in a snowstorm. Do you see this? No, I didn't. Crazy. Salt Lake City. Nuggets. Snowstorm. The, only the owner of LA is pissed off they played the game. Joey Logano, apparently in NASCAR, had an illegal glove. An illegal glove? Why can't they just wear any kind of gloves? The Celtics beat the Warriors by 60 points yesterday. 60. Johnny Manziel says he's going to boycott the Heisman until they give Reggie Bush's Heisman back. Johnny Manziel, we don't care. Clark broke Pete Maravich's all-time NCAA scoring record. She's a female, he's a male. However, he played about 40 more games than Pistol Pete did. And guess what else? There was no three. All right, Reds lost over the weekend to Kansas City 7-3. Jake Paul won another fight. Who cares? Knockout first round. Joe Burrow says he'll be back in May. Yeah, right. Ed Ott, part of the 1979 Pittsburgh Pirates championship team. God bless him. He was the catcher. Remember old Ed Ott? What a great name for a catcher. Ott, rest in peace. Andy Russell, a Pittsburgh Steeler linebacker. Also, part of the Steel Curtain, may he rest in peace, died. And Mortensen, Chris Mortensen, been battling cancer for a long time, has passed away. Over the weekend on Saturday, University of Kentucky outshot Arkansas, 111 to 102. UK broke the record for most 100 games. LeBron James went over 40,000, only player in the NBA to ever do it. UC beat Kansas State over the weekend. The Mets and Yankees are going to be put in the same division. Under realignment. That'll be wild. And Britt Reed, who, Andy Reed's son, drunk driver, all kinds of problems, had his three year commuted, three year sentence commuted after a year and a half by the governor of Missouri. Can you say power? This is the Bulldog. Every dog has their day. Have a great day. Ladies and gentlemen, American Jerry Bulldog Nation, welcome to Eric Dieter's Pop Culture. My favorite show because it's so fun. New Jersey Sopranos Diner Booth is being auctioned off, and there's like 200 uh, plus bids. It was up to $82,000 last I checked. This was the booth where Tony obviously got his brains blown out. Sun, the Sun's magnetic poles are going to flip in 2024. We have no idea what the hell that's going to happen. Shania Twain. Beautiful woman. She's gone bonkers. She's made herself look like in this photograph, which my crack producer doesn't have up, she looks like Kim Kardashian or Beyonce. It's insane what she's doing to herself. Jerry Hollowell, did you report this, Britt? One of the Spice Girls is struggling because her man from Red Bull apparently was doing naughty things. Horner. Ugh, poor Jerry. All right, Buzz Aldrin, 
I don't know if this is a true story or not, but apparently he passed the lie detector test that there was aliens on the moon. Sydney Sweeney hosted SNL, and it was hysterical. She played a Hooters, a Hooters waitress that the guys really liked. Let's just put it that way. Britt Turner, the drummer of Blackberry Smoke, died. I love Blackberry Smoke. May he rest in peace. I got some movie and television reviews. I, I've been uh, skimping on this because I watch a lot of TV. I want to give you a rundown. The Marked Heart, a Colombian show on Netflix. I mean... It's got a crazy plot. I highly recommend it. It's wild. Iron Claw, I recommend. Great story. Red Right Hand, I watched that over the weekend. Great. I recommend it. On Prime. Memory, on Prime. Recommend it. Poor Things, this was weird. And Emma Stone spends half the movie naked. And she ain't a lot to look at, to be honest with you. But it was a weird movie. It was an all right movie, though. But it is weird as hell. It got all that Oscar attention. The Promised Land, great movie. True history about a guy in Denmark's history. Really good movie. I loved it. Miller Girl, Miller's Girl, creepy, creepy, creepy. It's a young girl, teacher kind of thing going on. Friends Last Session, oh, excuse me, not Friends, Freud's Last Session. Really good. Really good. This is a story. They think it's true, but they're not sure where Freud met with C.S. Lewis and they discussed God. Freud would die a few days later. This is the bull, it all happened in London. A lot of things happen in London. You ought to be proud of your British heritage, Jamie. I am. I personally, just to let you know, I am a definitely Anglo Anglophobe guy. I mean, I love the relationship we have the Brits. When I'm president of the United States, us and the Brits will rule the world. This is the Bulldog. Every dog has their day. Have a great day.